What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you some of my favorite EDC folding knives. I've used these knives when I go hiking, camping, overlanding. I usually take one to work with me and I just use them around the house as a regular old dad. Uh, these are knives that I purchased and I've used them over the past couple years and no one is paying me to market these for them. I just wanted to recommend them to you and talk about them a little bit. The cool thing about them is they're right in the price range where I think it's a quality knife and it's gonna last you forever. They're all within 70 to $130. For the sake of this video, we'll just say about 100 bucks. I feel like at that price point, it's kind of the right spot where you wanna be for a good quality steel, and at the same time, it doesn't break the bank. All these knives here will pretty much last you forever, and you can pass these on to your grandkids. So let's go ahead and talk about some of my favorite pocket knives. Uh, first up, we're gonna talk about the Kershaw Link. This is a knife that is made out of 20 CV steel and it has a blade length of 2.91 inches. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and measure and see how much it weighs. I know it's a heavier knife, but it actually feels really good in the hand. So yeah, this thing weighs 4.6 ounces. It's a pretty hefty blade, but it feels good in the hand. It's nice and solid. It is made out of that 20 CV steel, which is what you're paying for. You know, this is a good quality steel. Uh, let's talk about the pros of this knife. Uh, it has heavy duty construction. The grip just feels awesome. And you could use this all day long and not get tired of using it. It does have these aluminum handles, which is I think just beautiful. The accents, you know, it's not a flat handle. It has these little notches and raised areas. And the handle, this aluminum handle is just beautiful. This is a great looking knife. And you know, this, this is a, a nice OD green color. I really love the color on this particular one, but uh, yeah, the fit and finish on it is also, it just looks really nice. Uh, it comes in for about $82, um, so this is on the cheaper side of the knives that I'm going to list. The cons, I guess you could say that it is the heaviest knife on the list, so if you're carrying this in your pocket, it might be a little bit uncomfortable or slightly bulky. And then the assisted opening here, to open it, you're pushing the assisted opening, and this way it takes a little bit of force, but it's actually satisfying. You you know, it's gonna click in place. There's no, nothing wiggling around or moving. This is a solid blade, but it does take a little bit of oomph to get it to open up like that. The liner lock, you can close it with one hand carefully, but I just feel like it's a little bit uh, safer to close it with, with two hands, but it is doable, single hand close. The other thing I wanted to highlight on this is the belly of this blade is huge. You can see the belly starts all the way up here. So this thing really is a great slicer. Yeah, overall, this knife is great. I do go to it a lot. As long as I have big pockets and I don't mind carrying a, a little heavier blade, uh, this thing I know is gonna be durable. I can toss it around and have no problems with it. It's a, it's a quality knife for sure. Next up on the list is the Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, this one has a blade length of 2.91 inches and it weighs 2.7 ounces. This particular one has the S30V steel. You can get a slightly cheaper one with the 154 CM and uh, it's slightly less, uh, but there's different versions of this. This one is the 30V steel and it comes in for about $140. This is the most expensive knife that I'll be listing today, but it's the Benchmade Griptilian and ergonomically, uh, it's one of my favorites. It just feels great in the hand and it's, extremely fun to open and close. It has this axis lock on it. So opening it, you can flick it open. You can click the axis lock and it closes. You can use the thumb stud. There's multiple ways that you can open this thing. So the fidget factor is really awesome. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of it. Ergonomically, it feels great in the hand. So this is the mini. Uh, I wear a size medium glove for reference and I can four finger this. I think if you have a large glove or anything bigger than a medium, you might want to go for the full size Griptilian, although it is more expensive. Ergonomically, in my hand, this one feels perfect. It's called the Griptilian after all, so it should feel really nice in your hand. And I think the reason that it feels good is because of this jimping along the top here. It's a perfect spot for your thumb to just sit and it just 
it's easy to grip and it doesn't move when you're holding on to it the access mechanism like i mentioned it's super fun to open and close it that's one of the selling points for a lot of the bench made knives it's just a, a nice little fidget factor on it and just like the kershaw link that i had just mentioned previously they're both made in the usa uh, this one in particular has a lifetime warranty now let's talk about some of the cons on this knife compared to some of the others it has a fiberglass reinforced nylon the frn handle most people consider g10 to be superior as far as plastics when it's coming to a handle although i've used this knife for some heavier jobs and i've never had any issues with it it's it's held up to for gutting some trout i've done some pretty significant cutting with some paracord and trimming down some firewood and i've never had any issues with the handles it's done the job that i've needed it to do next up let's go ahead and talk about the spiderco delica this one has a blade length of 2.9 inches and it weighs 2.2 ounces so this is definitely the lightest of all the knives that i'm going to mention the spiderco delica 4 comes in at 8633 uh, but it has a VG10 steel, which is a great steel. It's a Japanese steel. This is basically a katana, not really, but they do use this in Japan on their high-end kitchen knives and for sashimi grade quality knifeware. So this is a really great Japanese steel. It has this thumb hole. You can flick it open with the thumb hole instead of a stud. And that thumb hole is really nice for opening and closing the knife but it also is nice for when you're slicing and cutting, it doesn't have a thumb stud that can get caught up on anything if you're cutting all the way up uh, to this area here. So it just slides right past the hole. So it's something Spyderco is kind of known for. It's nothing fancy, it's just a classic knife that's been around forever. The Spyderco is a reputable brand and this thing has been around for decades. Basically a simple pocket knife that does the trick with not a lot of things that can break on it. You know, it's a backlock liner. So I do feel com more comfortable closing it with two hands, but you can, uh, if you put your finger right here below the blade, you can push the backlock down, let it hit here so you don't cut yourself and then close it. Uh, it's another one that's a little more comfortable to close with two hands though. But if you needed to pull it out of your pocket, open it, cut something and close it with one hand, it's definitely possible. Because of the thumb hole, the way that the shape of the handle is, they accommodate the thumb hole. So the, the handle is a little bit more narrow right there, but still feels good in my hand. Again, I have medium hands and I would say this, this fits in my hand just perfect. Nice little jumping on the back there, perfect spot for your thumb and it cuts great. The last knife I'm going to mention is the Civivi Mini Praxis. It has a blade length of 2.98 inches and it weighs 2.7 ounces. This particular one is made of Damascus. It says it has 110 layers of Damascus steel that is apparently 58 to 60 HRC hardness rating. I'm not sure how to say it, but this one has a Gui Bursha wood scales and I think it just looks pretty rad uh, with the wood scales and the Damascus. This is a sweet looking knife. And this is definitely the cheapest knife on my list. Uh, Civivi is a Chinese company, so they're able to produce these knives a little bit cheaper. It comes in at $59.50. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of this guy. Some of the pros are it's extremely fast action. It just pops right out. Uh, it feels great right out of the box. It was perfectly centered and it just that action is is pretty satisfying is a liner lock you can see here it is able to be closed and open with one hand so that is nice uh, there are some cheaper versions of this without the wood handle and without the Dism damascus and you can get them for about half the price so Civivi, this knife the mini praxis uh, on a budget this is probably your one of your uh, better knives that you could go with in my opinion the only negatives for this knife is i feel like it's slightly fragile in the hand uh, even though the weight is similar to the spider co it just feels lighter for some reason and feels a little bit more fragile like i said nothing is moving or it feels like it's uh, flimsy but it's just lighter something about it feels more fragile um, i'm not sure quite what it is but it looks great and functions great that's really what matters right all the other knives that i mentioned have an ambidextrous clip that you can flip to right hand or left hand clip carry this one is only right hand carry only so sorry lefties i didn't really mention the clips on on any of the knives but they're all adequate in my opinion they're deep pocket carries and they do the trick 
The only negative about this one, like I said, is it's a right hand carry only. I had a fifth knife that I was going to mention, but I just realized it's no longer available. So these are the four that I'm going to recommend to you guys. I EDC these, uh, switching them up throughout the week, depending on what I'm wearing. And I could honestly recommend them to you as a everyday carry knife. I think if I had to choose one, my favorite would be the Benchmade just because of the fidget factor. But all of these knives are extremely awesome. This one is usually my go-to. I love this knife. So yeah, that's it for today's video. You really can't go wrong with any of these knives, but this one was probably my favorite because of that fidgeting factor. The axis lock is so sweet. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. Subscribe, do all those things. It helps me as a YouTuber. And as usual, I'll remind you to get outside, stay hydrated, and keep on moving.